Feel a little pumped up today. Feel my lats. Feel them. Feel them. My uh, freaking lats, uh, dude! Uh, Gosh dang it, they're right here! Oh yeah. Yeah. That's hard. Hard like the snooze we're doing today, bro. What's cracking everybody out loud back here on the Mud Jug channel? Continuing our outlaw snooze week here, trying to find the greatest loose I've ever tried. It's the heat. Son of a dick. Apologize. Sound technical difficulties. Go turn that son of a bitch off. We're gonna freeze in here. You guys might be saying the heat. You guys got the heat on in your house? We just, I don't know. The earliest snow I've ever remembered. We just got freaking a bunch of inches of snow here in Colorado, man. I don't know what is happening. It's ridiculous. It was 95 yesterday, and right now it's sitting at about 30 degrees. All right, don't mind that heat sound right now. It'll be going off in just a second, but today we are doing this right here. Grove, ladies and gentlemen. This is, is it good, in-law? Yeah, dumb. There you go. Can they see it? Yep. This right here is Grove Loose Snooze. So this guy, from what I've heard, I really like the label too. It feels like almost like a, a uh, what do you call it? It's just, it almost has like a, um, get you, oh, you wanna feel it? Yeah. It's like a, what do you call that, man? Like a rough feel to it, almost yeah. like a, like a manly feel to it. So, again, fiberboard, cardboard bottom, same as all of these. It's funny, I actually didn't plan this, but all five of the loose nooses that we've been trying. First, we, we, we did Etten, or the Etan, however you say it. Second, we did General. And then third, we did uh, the Goldberg's Prima Fint. Now we're doing Grove, and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing Rota Lacket. All five of those are made by Swedish Match. All right, Swedish Match is basically the king of snooze at this point. So let's go ahead and crack this son of a dick open. This is a, uh, an interesting one. I have never tried this one, but from what I've heard, Grove is the heaviest on the tobacco flavor, all right? It's the heaviest, like most prevalent tobacco flavor out of all five of these, from what I've heard. Oh yeah, I'm already smelling that backer right there, boy. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, wow. Holy smokes, man. This almost has like, I, I was saying that the Etten had like a Copenhagen long cut uh, smell and taste to it. This one almost has a Copenhagen snuff smell to it. Holy smokes, man. Let's get a look inside that can right there. Look at that muddiness right there. It's a little bit more balled up than all the other ones. But wow, dude, the tobacco smell in that is very freaking prevalent. Almost a little smoky too. A little smokiness in there. Question. What? Are they like the Lay's chips where they only pack it like a quarter full and then the rest is air? Cause that can doesn't look full. It's not full like Outlaw Dip. But you can get an outlawdip.com. <laughs> uh, ooh, this stuff is stiff, dude. This is some stiff stuff, but wow, I could hillbilly pinch this easy because it's 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 like super dense. This is like very dense compared to some of the other stuff. Look at that. I mean, that's like a pinch of dip right there. Just a super muddy texture to it. Let's go ahead and get us a Prilla. Get this baked inside of our hand here. I'm having a lot of fun trying this uh, loose snooze, believe it or not, y'all. I've never tried any of this stuff, so it's kind of cool trying stuff that I haven't tried yet, you know? So we're baking a Prilla of Grove. Ooh, wow, this stuff packs really nice. Just like that Prima Fint that we had yesterday. All of them pack really nice. Um, that Prima Fint packed better than all of them. That was like insane. It was like two seconds. In-law wasn't even here, but it was like two seconds and I freaking, I had that thing baked very nicely. Let's get all these little Little guys. So there is our Prilla, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be put under our top lip. Let's get right into it. Mmm. Mmm. That was a little bigger one, so I, sorry I had a little trouble getting under there. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That one is like super tobacco -y. Like, this one actually sincerely reminds me of Copenhagen Snuff. The... This is why I don't want you filming here anymore. I don't want you. You know what? You're fired. You don't get out. Get out. It's snowing, dude. How are you sneezing? I don't know. You're freaking allergies, man. It's snowing. It's impossible. What are you allergic to snow now? No, I'm allergic freaking to dork. Sneeze. You're allergic to snow. Yeah. Remember how I used to say, uh, Covenant and stop. This is that gross sneeze. That's good, man, that's good. So, I don't remember what I was saying, thanks to in-law, but this uh, definitely reminds me of Copenhagen uh, Snuff, for sure. It's got a, a little bit of saltiness when you touch it to your tongue, but it's super heavy on the on the tobacco taste, 
and a little smoky too. It's like a little bit of a smoky texture to it. Dang, I really like this one actually. Yeah. As far as like the feeling in the lip, this almost beats the Prima Fint because it's like, wow. Oh, it's so good. I don't, I don't, oh my goodness. I like it a lot. Soft and hard. So, shut up. No. The, so it's soft and hard? No, is it soft or hard? <laughs> the snoozer. Yeah, the snoozer. Oh, the snooze. <laughs> I just thought it was a weird question you were asking me. I forgot we were even snoozing. <laughs> I would say it's more hard, actually, in the lip. Um, but, like, it's both. It's just, it's a perfect mixture. It's the perfect mixture of soft and hard. This is getting weird. This is getting really weird. Now, you do not have to spit with this stuff. But since we are here on the Mud Jug channel, I might as well do the Mud Jug of the day, which is the American Eagle. Look at this right here, man. Oh, my gosh, that's so freaking pretty. That is America to its finest, ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you guys a spit, even though I don't have to. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Christian in that gosh dang mud jug. That's a good one right there. America, you know, this Friday is September 11th, which is tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. And I have a new song coming out, which is very Americana-esque, to bring people together a little bit more, I feel like. And it's called Land of the Free. And it's all about America and the USA and the red, white, and blue. So make sure to stay tuned to my Outlaw channel. Link is in the description box below. That song will be up tomorrow for y'all to listen to. And it'll be all over Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, stuff like that. It's gonna be some sweet goodness for your ears. Just like this Grove is some sweet goodness for my freaking lip. I am really, really enjoying this actually. I'm not getting a big prevalent taste like I did with the Prima Fit yesterday, kind of with that menthol mintiness a little bit. But with this one, I I like the feeling it gives me in my lip. I love the just the dark tobacco taste it gives you and just a just a hint of saltiness whenever you touch your tongue to it. I like that. I like the way it stays in your lip. And I like that it has just a little bit of smokiness as well. I really do enjoy that. I, I'm the, the biggest American dip that I could say that this is like is either Copenhagen Snuff or Grizzly Natural. If you guys are like Grizzly Natural dippers, this gives it like that Grizzly Natural a little bit to it, just not as salty. And it is very similar to the Copenhagen Snuff, which is a fine cut and this isn't, this is a snooze, so it's, it's not long cut or fine cut. It's just like a mushiness, you know? I'll tell you right now, I really do dig it. This is the only can that is not a gold top. It's like a, uh, it's just kind of like a goldish brown top to it. Plastic on top, fiberboard on the bottom. I really like the label on this. Probably my favorite label so far. I do like that a lot, even though it's filled up with all these gosh dang freaking warning labels that you can't even read what the tits it's freaking saying. And my fake camera won't even freaking focus. Ugh. The strength on this is a two out of four. I'm feeling the nicotine a little bit. I just ate, so it's satisfying my nicotine craving just a little bit. It's 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 good on that end. The um, it didn't bake as well as the Prima Fit did, but it's almost like I don't care how well it bakes or pinches because you know I was a big fan of Copenhagen Snuff for the longest time. It was a super fine cut, so it's not a huge issue how it bakes. This is probably a number two on how well all these bake, but man. This is a hard one, dude. Every single one I try, I like so much, but trying to pick one out of all the ones I've tried before is super hard. I really did like the Prima Fint for the mintiness that it had. It gave me just a tad bit of a burn and that fresh feeling in your mouth. But this Grove is probably the best loose snooze where I'm getting that real tobacco taste to it. And with that being said, there's nothing more I like than a real tobacco taste. I really do like that and enjoy it. It's got that earthy feel to it. A lot of people say, you know, tobacco by itself just tastes like the earth. It just tastes like dirt. Well, yeah, it kind of does. But with like a little bit of saltiness, there's a little bit of saltiness. It's just, I don't know, there's something that's good about it, you know? Yeah, it does feel like I got a little bit of muddiness in my mouth or something, but it's not bad. Sometimes you just gotta freaking man up and like it. So far, we've done four. <sighs> I'm gonna, I, dude, I might have to say that the Prima Fint Goat Burgs is still my number one. This one just like, I really loved how it packed 
and I really like the taste of it, you know? You still got the tobacco uh, flavor in there, but with just a little bit of mint, just a little bit to make you feel fresh and a little burn, I did like that a little bit more. I would have to say that the Grove is probably my number two though. I really like the dark earthy tobacco taste that it gives you. I like the way it, that it baked. I really did enjoy that, but I still have to put the Prima Fint over it. From there, I'd have to go the Etten or the Etan, and then General is probably in last place. But dude, in all honesty, all of these are good. If anybody had these in their pocket and I needed a loose snooze, I would be happy with either four of these. Which that probably didn't make any sense. With any, any four of these. That's probably the right word to say, yeah. Thanks, in-law. You're still fired, but whatever. Oh, crap. So with those four that we have tried, we now have one left, and that is the Rhoda Lacket. This guy is very interesting, and we're gonna be doing this tomorrow right here on this channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that, because I am super excited to try this, because this has a lot of history to it right here. Speaking of history and a more in-depth review on all this stuff, because guys, to be honest with you, I'm not giving you the best review I can get. I'm giving you guys an okay review if you guys ever want to try this stuff out, but I got my buddy Snooby, who has his YouTube channel, Snooby.com. His name's Chad. He is the man when it comes to snooze, all right? I would highly suggest you guys go check him out. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to give him a shout out because sometimes, like, if I don't know that much about a product before I try it, I'll go to his channel even, you know what I mean? So, Snooby.com. Uh, go check him out. He's up on YouTube as well, and he does a lot of snoo stuff like this, and he's done a few videos on each of these guys. So I want to give him a shout out because he's working hard over there for the snooze community, and uh, he's the man when it comes to this stuff. But gosh dang, man, this Grove that we tried today, big fan of it, man. If you guys love that dark tobacco smokiness taste, this one's for you. And this is definitely the most tobacco tasting one I've tried so far. Oh, like I said, mud joke of the day is the American Eagle. USA, baby. Yes, sir. This is up on mudjug.com. Link is in the description box. The greatest spittoon of the moon. We got a plethora of them here. Actually, I need to fill up these shelves. I got plenty of them. I keep getting more in, so we need to just fill up the shelves. Fill up your own shelf at home. Get you a mud jug, man. We got new patterns coming out nearly weekly, so, and Christmas is coming up, so... That's weird to say because I wouldn't have said that if it wasn't snowing outside and I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, well, yeah, Christmas is coming, ain't it? Last but not least, guys, don't forget my new song, Land of the Free, dropping tomorrow for y'all on the Outlaw channel. Stay tuned for it. Make sure to hit subscribe on the Outlaw channel as well so you can get notified when that song goes live. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it, man. It's probably one of my favorite songs I've done so far. I know I say that a lot, but I just keep outdoing myself. It's so hard as a musician, man. God, can you guys even take me serious with this freaking mullet, dude? What's up? 258366, no matter what you're doing, we'll see you tomorrow on the dip side. Keep it freaking heel, Billy. I'll do that again. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, you can turn it off. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this for just a little bit more. Oh, crap.